seem to make their way out to the familiar tone of Zed Cars here at Vicarage Road. Albion are unchanged from the team that drew with Blackburn last time out. He's got Wallace to his right, Swift's in the middle, here's Jed Wallace. Just holds it up, waits for Albrighton to run round him. Albrighton's cross, Thomas Asante at the near post, heads it wide. Couldn't quite get his head round it to get the angle on it to trouble Daniel Batman. But it's uh, followed away by Peters. What for have it again with Chowdhury? Into the feet of Gaspar on the edge of the box. He turns into the area. Can he get another cross away? Will find Davis there. Post. Who turns? Great save by the goalkeeper. But Ken Simmer is there on the rebound and fires into the roof of the net from close range. And Watford have the lead on the midway point of the first half. Excellent play, this time down the right-hand side for Watford. Gaspar just didn't give up, was clever enough to think that the player was going to block his cross, so he pulled it back, and then it's about Keenan Davis's strength. Can he hold off the defender, get his shot away? The goalkeeper actually makes a good save, but Ken Semmer, make no bones about it, that's a really good finish because the keeper's managed to get across his goal. If he'd have hit that low, the keeper would have got a hand to it, but he's hit it into the roof of the net. That's clever play from, from Watford. Uh, Strom have it back, although Shea's then under pressure from Davis. And puts Peters in trouble, and here's Keenan Davis inside the penalty area. Goalkeeper makes the save. Saar will keep the ball in over, out on the right-hand side. Good save from Josh Griffiths to deny Keenan Davis. West Brom getting in a mess on the edge of their own box. Towards the penalty spot, it's headed over the bar by Furlong. Bodies went sprawling in front of him. Furlong got up above Porteous, he's hooked, he's given the ball away to Wallace, who nicks it around Hoot and can sprint away for Albion, pursued by Kone, looks for Swift on the edge of the box, parried away by Batman, Wallace again on the right hand side, is crossed, cannons off Kone behind for a corner, and the noise levels rise in the away supporters section, Daniel Batman called into action for the first time tonight, fourth corner for Albion, Swift to take it. Again, high to the far post, headed back across goal by Peters. Semmer gets something on it. And then, uh, well, it's turned it in. West Brom were asking for a penalty. And whilst we all perhaps look to the referee, the ball goes into the back of the Watford net. I think from Connor Townsend. The Watford failed to clear the corner. But Peters won the first header at the far post. Carlos Corbran's men are level. Kone tries to work it forward for Davis. O'Shea intercepts. How do Watford react? Well, Davis has it just on the edge of the penalty. Saar takes over. It's Saar! Hits the outside of the post! And he burst onto it. A little injection of pace there from Ismail Saar. Took him away from the defender. Morris outside him. Morris's cross. O'Shea just gets there. Comes to Kone. Who, well, the shanks is well. He might come to Saar! And he made no mistake this time. Tucked it beyond the goalkeeper. But they can't afford to take chances. But they've taken the chance on the edge of their own penalty area. And here's Wallace that makes Watford pay. Daniel Batman played Chowdhury into trouble. And West Brom are back level. Watford gave the ball away. Caught Chowdhury, caught on the edge of his own penalty area. And uh, Wallace made no mistake. Slutting into the corner. The ball rebounds back out to Sardo on the right-hand side. Semmer in support. Here's Ken Semmer right on edge of the penalty area. Shoots! Oh, I think it's an own goal! What for the back in front for the third time tonight! Ken Semmer's cross comes short. Cannons in to the near post off Eric Peters. And with 13 minutes to go, Watford lead again. Ken Semmer scored the first, he's made the third, Eric Peters with a wry smile as he walks away from the scene of his crime. It's Watford three, West Bromwich Albion two. Chow Pedro is first to it, but you crucially wins it back. There's the full-time whistle though, Watford hold on. They win for the first time in five games. A topsy-turvy affair at Vicarage Road.
which Watford led three times and the third time was enough.